السلام علیکم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شالی صدری و یسلی امری والا لغدتم باللسانی اتقو قولی و بزدن اللہ چلون ٹوڈے آئیم ہیر تو ایکسپلین یو ہاو تو اٹیمٹ دے پیپر پیپر وان اور فور دیر آئیو ٹیکن اکٹوبر نومبر ٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئنٹوئ
show all your working. So now what we did first is, and you can see for yourself that there's one mark for suitable working method. That is, for example, flip and adding one and one mark is for the correct answer. So in this manner, you will be able to score two out of two. First of all, we have found the binary for 99. This is the binary for 99. And then we have flipped the values, like all ones became zero and all zeros became one. And then after flipping, we have added one and your final answer is one zero zero one 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 zero one. And that is written properly in this register. And in this manner, you will be able to score two out of two. Part E, the number zero one double zero double one double zero is added to 111-000-11. Add the two 8-bit binary numbers using binary addition. Give your answer in binary, show all your working. Again, you can see everywhere they're expecting the students to show the working. So there's one mark for each correct nibble, uh, like maximum is going to be two. One mark for correct working, for example, the correct carrying operation being done. One mark for showing the overflow bit. Now, this is what is done here, but you can see one. First of all, the method is you have to write down the values in the right way, in the right order. And you may change the order, like it's perfectly okay. Uh, but otherwise, okay, thank you very much, Ali, for raising this question. That the values are a little bit, you can say this was supposed to, to be um, like they, they have given it in this manner. That's perfectly okay. Add it to this one. That's why it is written uh, at the top. And second value is written below. And then these two values are added. And you can see 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 0 is a 1. 0 plus 1 is a 1. 0 plus 1 is a 1. It means the first nibble is 1, 1, 1, 1. Second nibble, 0 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1. And then 1 plus 1 will be 0 with a carry of 1. And since there is no... So, uh, ninth bit available so definitely this is going to result in an overflow so students are supposed to mention this overflow as well that's better or you can just mention that in overflow also that's going to be a good thing on your part that you know that if two bits are uh, two values are added and the answer is coming as a ninth bit then it results in overflow any questions okay now, the question is this chapter, chapter number three. A user's computer has a CPU that has a clock speed of two gigahertz. She wants to change it to a CPU which has a clock speed of three gigahertz. State what is meant by clock speed. The first thing is you need to know the definition of clock speed, the maximum number of fetch decode execute cycles or instructions a CPU can perform a process or a CPU can uh, execute in a second, that is going to be the best definition to write for clock speed to gain one out of one. Explain the effect this change will have on the performance of the CPU. Now you can recall, if we have increased the speed, the clock speed from two gigahertz to three gigahertz, what will be the overall impact on the performance? Increases, improves the performance, tasks can be performed quicker, or tasks can be performed faster. And reason is, now this is going to gain you one mark. And then you can mention the reason that basically because more Fed decode execute cycle instructions are going to be processed in a second. Because you can see this question is dealing with explanation. So you need to explain that why is it so? Because now your processor is going to process more instructions in a second. Earlier, it was able to score less, a little lesser. Now, with increase in clock speed, the computer uh, CPU is going to perform the same operation a little faster. The CPU contains a memory address register, MAR. Describe the load of MAR in the fetch decode execute cycle. Now, I hope that we all know the purpose of MAR, memory address register. As the name implies, it stores the addresses. So, stores the addresses of next instruction or data to be fetched. And similarly, it can store the address of the next instruction where the data is to be written to. From wherever the data will be fetched or wherever the data will be written to, 
Similarly, if the next instruction or data is to be fetched or the data is to be written to, that will give you two out of two because in this manner, you can, if you say store address, that will give you one mark only. But if you talk about store address of what? Of the next instruction to be fetched or the way the data is to be written to, then that will be a better answer. And in this manner, you can easily score two out of two. Okay, now, the CPU has a list of all the machine code commands it can process. State the name of the li this list of commands. See, it's so simple, instruction said. So if in, in a minute, if you can recall the right terms, you can score very easily. Any questions? Okay, now, question number four. A washing machine is an example of an embedded system. Give two characteristics of an embedded system. Now, there's a long list of different uh, answers that a student uh, can write. And let's uh, understand these two characteristics, two features, any two from performs a single limited dedicated function or task. That is what it is meant for. It has a microprocessor. It has dedicated hardware, uses firmware, normally built into a larger device or a system. User normally cannot reprogram. It does not require much power. It is cheap to manufacture, works automatically, works without human intervention. It is smaller in size. Now, if you just say small, man, that is not, again, a very good option. So if you write down smaller in size, that will be very uh, a better answer. It's a real-time system. What is real-time? That works immediately, that responds to the uh, instructions immediately and always shows you the updated situation. That is your real-time system. Now, circle three other examples of an embedded system. Along with washing machine, there are others also. Now, one mark is for each system. There's a three-mark question. Freezer, laptop, personal computer, security, light system, smartphone, web server, and vending machine. So out of these, you have to be very cautious because they are, they are, um, among the, some, of, some of the answers are very tricky. Like laptop, one student can think of laptop also. Some student can think of PC also, the one that we use. But be cautious that you have to filter out. Example of washing machine is given. So the right options are going to be freezer, security light system, and vending machine. Clear? Any questions? Okay. Question number five. A band is recording their new song. They need to consider the sample rate and sample resolution of, of their recording. Give one benefit of using a higher sample rate to record the song. It's so simple. Anyone from the recording of the song is more accurate or the recording of the song is closer to the original. So if the student has written any of these answers, he will score one out of one. Give one drawback of using a higher sample rate to record the song. Anyone from the file size will be increased, definitely. The file will require more storage space because if you are using a higher sample rate, then definitely the file size will be increased and file size incre increment means it will be using more storage space. Describe what is meant by sample resolution. Now, this is what you need to know the definition. You can, since it is, it's a two-mark question, that's why the students have to explain it properly because it is the descriptive uh, question described. So the number of bits that are used per sample that provides a variation in amplitude that can be stored for each sample, or it defines the number of different amplitudes that can be recorded. It determines how quiet or how loud the sounds, the sounds are that can be recorded. Uh, a student can even mention the example just to make the, again, you can see example is, for example, is 16 bit. So that is going to make your answer a very good one and you will be able to score two out of two. The band wants to compress the sound file, but they do not want any data to be permanently removed. Do not want. Identify the compression method that should be used. So definitely it should be lossless. Clear? I hope that we know the, the other method also, that is lossy. So since they have mentioned, do not want any data to be deleted, that's why it should be the lossless. Now, question number six, an easy one, isn't it? I hope that we remember the method that we have learned to answer questions like this. The table contains descriptions about data transmission methods. 
complete the table by identifying which data transmission methods are described. Now, the description is here. Data is transmitted down a single wire. Now, what you will do is you can underline the keyword single wire so that you will remember that here you have to talk about what? One bit at a time in one direction only. Single wire, one bit at a time, one direction. One direction means it will be simplex, correct? And single wire, one bit at a time means it will be serial. So in this manner, we have found the right answer that is serial simplex. Okay. Now data is transmitted down multiple wires, multiple bits at a time in both directions, but only one direction at a time. Now you can see multiple wires means parallel, correct? Multiple bits are transmitted in both directions, but do not haste, just pay attention, only one direction at a time. So that is why the answer will be parallel half duplex. Now next one is, Data is transmitted down a single wire. Single wire means it will be serial. And in both directions at the same time. That's why directions same time both means it is full duplex. Easy? Okay, that's great. Data is transmitted down multiple wires, multiple bits at a time, parallel, in one direction only means simplex. In this manner, you can very easily score four out of four in hardly a minute basically or maybe uh, just two minutes isn't it question number seven a train station has a ticket inspector who checks each customer's ticket before they are allowed to get on the train the train station wants a system that will allow the tickets to be automatically checked they don't want the services of an inspector a person they want it to be done automatically identify two suitable in input devices that can be used to automatically read the tickets. So the answers are barcode scanner, QR code scanner, or digital camera. And be very cautious if any student writes barcode. Yes, what do you think? Should it be treated as a correct answer? No, not at all. That's actually accurate. Very, very nice, Eddie, that you remember that barcode scanner is the device. And since they have asked for the devices, that's why you have to mention the keyword barcode reader, barcode scanner, similarly QR code reader, QR code scanner. If you had mentioned QR code, that would again be treated as a wrong answer. So be very cautious whenever you are answering such questions. If you had not written this word scanner or reader, then you will score a zero mark here because that will not give you any mark at all. Clear? Yeah? The train driver pushes a button to close the train door when all the passengers have boarded the train. The train door will only close when there are no passengers in the doorway. The system to check there is no passenger, there are no passengers in the doorway uses a sensor and a microprocessor. Explain how the sensor and the microprocessor are used to check whether the train door can be closed. Now, this is an example of a question that deals with sensors, their readings taken, Checking with the preset values, taking corrective action in case because here, since the door is involved, it is going to be closed. It means, by the way, action is being involved. Some, uh, some, uh, we are maybe are taking some corrective action. So, is this going to be an example of uh, monitoring or controlling? Okay, that's great, wonderful, Eddie. It will be an example of controlling application. So here you can see it's a six mark question. So you have to write down six valid points. Proximity sensor, infrared sensor, or pressure sensor. So first point, if the student has written the right sensor, then he will score one mark. So the right sensors are proximity, the use of proximity sensor, the use of infra infrared sensor, or the use of pressure sensor. Sensor continuously, sen continuously sends the, data, the digitized data to microprocessor. When, because when the driver pushes the button, sensor sends digitized data to the processor. Microprocessor compa compares data to stored values, whatever is the stored value. For example, you can see the uh, no passenger should be there. If in range, out of range matches, microprocessor sends sig signal to close the door. So and since the action is taken, the closing of the door is an action, that's why you need to see that the word actuator is definitely supposed to be used here. 
If not in range, out of range, does not match, door will not close. If it's not in range, out of range, does not match, actuator not activated. Signal not sent as passenger is still there. If not in range, out of range, does not match, a timer is set to check again. Now, this, these are all the probable answers that the student could have written. But you need to just figure out your own learning. You need to recall your own learning and then answer accordingly. So if it's out of range, means it's uh, maybe the person is there, existence of a person. So definitely the door will not close. So that is why all the options that were written, but all the answers that were written by the students are mentioned here with a double slash. So you can see that this, this is all a correct option, but that is any one out of these. The process it repeats until the door can close. Now this is a constant activity. It will keep on checking the existence, the presence of an individual. And the moment no individual is found, then the door will automatically close. And for that, the process is to be repeated uh, until, the, until the action is performed. Draw and annotate a diagram that demonstrates the cybersecurity threat of data interception. Now, this is the diagram drawing. And this is just an example, example given to you. And you need to see that students are supposed to just pay attention to these minor things. The diagram demonstrates one mark for each part of the diagram. It's a four mark question. Data is sent from one device to another. The data is being examined during transmission. Packet sniffer is used. Intercepted data is reported to a third party during transmission and analyzed for anything useful. Connection hacked to spoof destination address. So this is just an example that is uh, drawn here. You can see computer A, computer B, then it's the third party in between, then packet sniffer, and some instructions that are uh, written here. So if the student has made a diagram, just it's just an example, has made a diagram similar to this one, then he will definitely be able to score four out of four. Along with the directions, you can see the direction is from computer A to computer B. The use of third party is here, and then you will be able to score easily your four out of four. Identify one security solution that will help keep data safe from data interception and state why it will keep the data, uh, it will, why it will help keep the data safe. So talking about this one, encryption, and if the data is, is intercepted, it will be meaningless because they do not have the decryption key. So one mark is for the keyword encryption or by, uh, for identifying the right solution. And the second mark is to explain that why it will help to keep the data safe. And in this manner only, you will be able to score two out of two. The table contains terms and descriptions about the internet. Complete the table with the missing terms and descriptions. So here, the collective name for all the web pages available, that's a World Wide Web. Be cautious, it's World Wide Web. A small text file stored by the web browser that can store a user's personal data, a small text file. Small text file means it's a cookie. Now, you are asked to describe URL, the text base address of our website, or it is made up of the protocol, domain name, and file name or folder name. So you can write down any uh, of the uh, above answers, and then you'll be able to score uh, easily. The text base address for a website, that's perfectly okay. Web server. Stores web pages, receives requests from clients, and returns requested web pages. So student can write down any answer, and he will be able to score again. The language used to create a website, example tags are head and body. So that is basically hypertext markup language, or if you have written HTML, in both situations, you will be able to score. A protocol that is used to request and send web pages. A protocol, so that will be hypertext transfer protocol or HTTP. See, so simple. You pay attention, you have studied the material well, you can very easily score the marks. Six out of six is not difficult at all. Any questions? Okay, question number 10. A business has a system that is described as having AI. State one of the main characteristics of an AI system. Now, anyone from ability to learn, adapt, Machine learning abilities, a student can write. 
the collection of data and the rules for using that data, the ability to reason has problem solving abilities, makes predictions, simulate, uh, simula simulates human intelligence or human behavior, analyzes patterns. So if a student has written any of these answers in the right ma manner, he will de be definitely able to score one out of one. And since it is, it is a state question, that's why no description is needed, just simply state, that's all. An AI system is an expert system. Let's explain how an expert system operates. Now, remember the key features of an expert system and then you will be able to answer. It has an interface and that interface is used to input or uh, input data or via the output also. It has knowledge base, it has a rule base, it has an inference engine. And out of these, you can explain, apply the rule base to add the knowledge base to provide output or to uh, di uh, diagnose or to perform, provide the result or solution or the decision. The science, what to do, uh, what to ask, it is all based on the data that is being input. What to do, what to ask, this all is handled by the expert system. So if a student has written these uh, options properly, these answers properly in the right uh, sequence, then definitely that will be, examiner will definitely give you six out of six. But you need to know the expert system, the key features, the key parts of an expert system, which are knowledge base, rule base, inference engine, and definitely the interface that is needed. Any ambiguity, any questions? Question number 11. A manufacturing company uses an automated system in its manufacturing process. The automated system uses a flow sensor. Identify what a flow sensor measures. Now see, here you need to tell what the purpose of a flow sensor is. Amount of liquid or amount of gas or amount of steam flowing or moving through an environment. So you simply write down and you will be able to score one. Explain one advantage to employees of using an automated system in manufacturing. Now see, since it's a two more question, so you need to first of all talk about the advantage and then explain why it's advantageous to the employees. Employees, be cautious, they are talking about the employees. For example, increased safety, uh, meaning the way workers do not need to go into dangerous areas to collect the data or to make the checks or uh, to do dangerous tasks. So that is an advantage to the employees. Uh, can increase jobs or skills? And now, I mean, very rightly said, Ali, that then let's see that how is it increasing the jobs and other skills as employees are needed to learn to maintain the equipment. So you can see that I am going to talk about that it will result in increasing the skills of the employees because they are there to learn new skills also. No need to do repetitive tasks, maintain tasks, uh, so that they can utilize their energy, their time on other more skilled tasks. Like now they will be free and they can uh, apply their energies in some skillful activities. Okay, so there are three uh, benefits given with the right descriptions. So you can you could have written any one of these and you'll be able to score two out of two along with the right description. Explain one disadvantage to the company owner of using an automated system in manufacturing. Now they're asking about the disadvantage to the company, to the company owner. Now, you have to explain again, two marks are there. One mark for identifying the right uh, drawback and then the matching description. High setup or installation costs. It means that it will, it will, it means that the company needs to find a lot of money uh, so, so to pay for the equipment, to set up the equipment, and definitely the employees will also need training. Similarly, another disadvantage could be utility maintenance or repairing costs are going to be definitely increased because of the bills, because now the electricity charges are going to be uh, involved here. Or definitely you need to uh, hire skilled employees to maintain the system. And definitely if the skilled employees are hired, they, they will be uh, demanding more. Equipment may break and definitely if the equipment is uh, is broken, it needs the updating or it needs um, immediate um, maintenance also. De-skilling of the workforce. This means that the workers will no longer have the skills for some of the manufacturing jobs 
and they should the equipment break. Like now we don't need any personnel to be there. We are now going to use a machine to do our task. So in this manner, the workforce, the skilled workforce may lose their jobs. So in this manner, you can see that descaling the workforce is also a disadvantage to the company owner because in this manner you're going to you may lose your skill uh, force also question number 12 digital currency can be used to pay for product products and services digital currencies are often tracked using digital ledgers give two other features of digital currency so any two from uh, since it's, it's a two mark question only exists electronically can be a decentralized system can be a centralized system it's usually encrypted so if the student has written any two of these features, he will definitely be able to score two out of two. Identify the process that a digital ledger, uh, uh, that uses a digital ledger to track the use of digital currency, blockchain. Question number 13. Storage and memory are important components of a computer system. Primary storage is one type of storage in a computer system. Tick one box to show which is an example of primary storage. So now you can see compact disk, hard disk, RAM, and SSD. So definitely out of these, the parts A, B, and D are incorrect because these are all are examples of uh, secondary storage. So only a RAM is the right choice. So you just stick this uh, point and you'll be able to score one out of one. Give one characteristic of primary storage. So again, you know it very well. We have learned it. It's not accessed by the CPU has both volatile and non-volatile storage. So if a student has written this answer, any of this answer, he'll be able to score one out of one very easily. Now, part B, virtual memory can be created in a computer system. Complete the description about virtual memory. Use the terms from the list. Some of the terms in the list will not be used. Some terms are used more than once. Now they have given you all the instructions and now the, the terms are here. Virtual memory is used when the random access memory is full. Now, this is what you know it very well. It's basically meant to help the RAM. It's create it is created by partitioning the dash. Definitely, it is the need. It is created on the hard disk drive. That that is why the answer is HDD. Data is divided into dash that can be sent from dash to dash. So, data is divided into pages that can be sent from random access memory to the virtual memory, or they can be sent from random access memory to the hard disk drive to be temporarily stored until they are required. Now, this is so simple if you have actually understood the virtual memory is working. So you must be knowing that virtual memory is created on the hard drive, empty space of the hard drive is used, and definitely pages are created so that the swapping can be done easily. Okay, any questions? Okay, fine. Thank you very much, Ahmed, for uh, raising this thing. This paper seems to be quite lengthy, but if you pay attention, it's dealing with a lot of questions that are hardly going to take you a minute. If you have really done well, if you have really practiced well, then it will not take more than a minute, basically, isn't it? You know the characteristic of primary storage, you know the right option, then you can simply, but be very cautious because the questions are uh, needing your, your attention. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for being a part of the learning journey. Jazakallah khairin kasira. Inshallah, we are going to meet again with um, another past paper with more videos to help you out in your learning journey. If you have liked my explanation, liked my videos, please subscribe and share with your friends and family so that they all are going to benefit from your learning. Okay. Allah Hafiz.